Yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really bout this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know what's an off day Now we on road, came from Yo, what is good, J.I. Squad, and welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., I'm back at it again with another banger video. As you guys can tell by the J.I. Galaxy above me and the red seatbelt, you dig what I'm saying? We are currently in Vader, man, and judging by the title and the thumbnail of this video, you guys already know what's going on, man. A lot of you guys have been asking me for a review of the AWE Axelback track exhaust so with that being said man we're finna go ahead and get into it i got the insta 360 set up on the back of the car we're finna go ahead start this video so we're starting to record it on the insta 360 it's recording let's go ahead and get a start up so we'll switch from this camera to that camera right now crazy nothing crazy so like I was saying um, in this video it's basically gonna be a review of the exhaust so I'm not gonna be doing too much talking um, we're finna just go ahead and hit the road and I'm gonna see you know if I can't get a couple pulls in for you guys so y'all can hear that why um, get some takeoffs some launches some normal driving and stuff like that so you guys can kind of hear it go through the gears go through the RPMs and you know just see what it would be like to run this setup on your car because I know that's exactly why you guys are here so let's go ahead and get straight into it without any further ado matter of fact let me give you guys a couple reps just 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 a few nothing crazy I feel like I, I owe it to y'all so we're gonna go up to like 3k Nothing crazy, y'all. Nothing crazy. But let's go ahead. Put this joint in drive, man. Hit the road. No cow. I'm super excited for this one. I hope. I hope the camera does well. Goddamn.
y'all. So one of the things that I will say I've noticed, um, and I don't necessarily know if this has anything to do with the AWB exhaust at all. Um, I think it might just be E85, but on 93, the car backfires way more than it does on E85. It's actually crazy for real. Um, if you guys checked out, uh, I want to say the video before this one, then you guys would have seen where basically I was just driving my car. Oh, there's a lot of police right here. Okay, we don't need any trouble, so we're gonna put this camera down and I'll show you guys on the Insta G60 when we go by him. Not gonna lie, the fact that there was three cops right there kinda got me wondering what the hell Buddy did. I I'll be honest, I'm intrigued. I'm pretty sure they don't like the fact that I just downshifted in front of uh, them. Pretty sure they heard that. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna get out of this spot. We, no, we already had our run in, our run in with the police. If you haven't seen that video, go tap it. It wasn't pleasant. <laughs> but yeah, man, like I was saying, bro, on E85, the car doesn't backfire as much um, as it does on 93. I don't know if it has to do anything with the timing, the added timing that, you know, E85 allows you to run, maybe the tune, uh, since it's pulling more timing or commanding more timing, not pulling timing, but since it's commanding more timing from the car, maybe there's not enough fuel, uh, excessive fuel to throw at the exhaust for the backfires. I'm not sure, because on 93, this thing be spitting for real, for real. Like I was saying, um, if you guys seen the video where I was talking about uh, the alignment on Vader with the shot going bad on the car, and you guys would have seen in that video, it was on 93. And the backfires, crazy. <laughs> the exhaust tone alone on this car is insane. Um, the full setup is speed engineering, long tube headers, 178, Catless, followed by an X-pipe, and then the AWE track axle back. I cannot lie, by far, this is one of the loudest cars that I've ever owned. I mean, just listen to this. barely even giving the car throttle at all literally it's once it gets to like tw above 2500 on the rpms it's it's od for sure it's insane for sure but i just wanted to add that little note man if you guys have it man like i said you go tap in with that video and you'll see what i'm talking about it literally backfires more on 93 than E85. Oh my god. I hope I hope you guys uh, you know what I'm saying have tuned into that video or actually go watch that video so you can see what I'm talking about. It's literally a night and day difference. It's kind of like on 93 the car has a verbal tube. The best way I could put it. And then on E85 it's just straight power. So I don't know.
Yes, sir, man. So, there you guys have it, man. Took Vader on a nice little drive, a little spirited drive. Got you guys some pops. Got you guys some exhaust clips. The video that a lot of you guys have been asking me for, man. Honestly, it's probably one of my most requested videos to date, to be honest with you, is to make a video on basically Vader's exhaust setup, how it sounds, just going through the gears, getting on it a little bit, whatnot, man. Also, y'all let me know in the comment section down below for real, for real. For those of you who run E85, I'm very, very curious, man. Go put your car on some 93, take it out for a ride, spin the block, you feel me, and see if it backfires more on 93 or 91 for my people in Cali versus on E85. But that's gonna wrap it up for this video. If you guys are new to the channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications, and drop a comment in the comment section down below, man. That's gonna wrap it up for this one. If you already subscribed, man, a lot of you guys are subscribed, but you don't have the post notification bell turned on, man. So go ahead, do your boy a favor and hit that bell real quick. That way you'll be notified every single time I drop a fire video like this one and you won't miss it. You dig what I'm saying? Also, we do have live chats, man. Premieres for every single video, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. The video gets premiered at 4 p.m. Central Time every time. So if you missed the video or you missed getting the premiere and you didn't know what time it started, now you know, you dig what I'm saying? But with all that being said, y'all, that's gonna wrap it up for this video, man. I'm super stoked to see what you guys think about this vlog. Um, it is a new angle, so like I've never actually set the Insta360 on Vader like this. So y'all let me know in the comments, man. Was that angle dope or not? Um, you know, I could definitely switch it up. Don't mind how dirty Vader is right now, bro. The rain is just not on my side, bro. Houston's weather is complete trash, bro. It rains for literally five minutes hard as hell and then the sun comes out and dries up all the rain on camera it doesn't even look as dirty as it is which tends to happen with a black car but my guy this joint is mad filthy sir. especially the rear the rear i think is the worst part you can tell <laughs> from the spot around the uh the suction cup mount for the insta360 the cleanness and then the dirt <laughs> no cap but with that being said y'all I'm probably gonna watch the car. I doubt that I'm gonna put it in a vlog. Y'all let me know in the comment section down below if y'all want a detailed video on how I detail my car. I can definitely drop that for you guys, man. And any other video that you guys want, man, y'all let me know in the comment section down below because a lot of the videos that you guys see are videos that are recorded.